Hi everybody, welcome to the Becoming Podcast. Today we have Bianca Hadley with us, a fantastic energy medicine practitioner who will be sharing a lot of information with us. Now, for me, um, there's not many people that I allow to work with my body energetically and Bianca is one of the very few that I allow that to, so it speaks, well I feel, very highly of her abilities and her gifts that she has. Before we start this, I'd like to thank the uh, Boutique Hotel Leonardo for allowing us to use their rooms. And please like, subscribe and share the video. It'll be wonderful. Hey, welcome. Hello. Good to have you here. <laughs> yeah, out of my comfort zone. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, again. Yeah, 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 that's nice, isn't it? Which is not good. <laughs> Which helps you sleep better in the evening, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Tell us, where are you from and how come you ended up in New York? Um, well, originally I'm from Holland. Okay. Um, but I think when I was about 21, 22, I already left Holland, went on my travels and ended up here in this beautiful island of Mallorca. And every time I try to escape this island, it kind of catapults me right back. Yeah. I'm not allowed to leave it. For some reason, I'm not. Right, right. I've tried, but I'm not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm funny because I've had that same feeling. I've tried to live back in New Zealand three or four times. It was like a magnet, it just keeps on pulling you back, yeah. doesn't it? Really? Yeah, you can't, you can't no. escape it. No, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> so <laughs> I've given up. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, given yeah, up. Yeah. <laughs> what was that song? It was a Hotel California. You can check out, but you can never leave. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's what's happening with me. Yeah. Well, as you can say so on the I'm podcast, sorry. we have some fun in your yeah. so that's, that's good. What do you do? Tell people, what do you, what do you actually do? <sighs> Uh, what I do is kind of strange, really. Mm -hmm. um, I heal people's energies. So I am a qualified Reiki master. Mm -hmm. uh, I trained in India. I actually left and went to India to train right. for and lived with a Reiki master, top of a mountain, down the hole. Wow. You know, it could have cool. been like a movie scenario yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then the pandemic hit and then I had to come back. Right. Um, but really, I've always done uh, things with, with, with energy. Right. So my, um, my mother, for example, she's a psychic and energy healer. So that was so normal for me as a child to come in after school and yes, there was somebody yes. sitting on the kitchen table and my mother had like her hands on somebody, yeah, you yeah. know, trying to heal. And so for me, it's been something I've grown up with. Sure. So for me, it's, be, it's really normal. And when yes. I talk to people about energy, you know, people look at me like you're so weird, yeah. you know, what you're on about. But yeah, so mm -hmm. I've always played as a child already <coughs> with energies and plants mm. and yeah. animals and other people. And yeah, yeah it's, it's a part of life. Yeah, part yeah. Of life. And it's a wonderful upbringing as well to have this energy mm. to grow up with that and, and to be a part in that, in that circle, especially now. Especially now, you know, when, when the world is going through some amazing changes, amazing things oh. that are happening to it. And for yes. people to find you, knowing that your experience goes back to your childhood mm. and it's back into your DNA. But I do have to say that I did not get into the healing properly until about four years ago. Okay. So before that, my background is sales and marketing. Okay. So completely different. Yeah. You know, I was in the complete rat race of, I need to earn money, you know, I was a single mom, so I had to work and get my money, yes. and the house yes. was important, and the car was important, and what you were yeah. wearing was important, and everything else. And then, as you know, about four or five years ago, mm -hmm. uh, what we called the Great Awakening happened, yeah. and it was like so many people were just shaken awake yes. it was like suddenly our little hamster wheels were taken away right. and you had all these right. confused hamsters everywhere going yeah. oh hang on i can look right and left of what's going on uh, and that happened to me right. and kind of everything that i had in place fell away and then i went okay what do you want from me yeah. and then actually it was my mother that said I think it's about time you're going to do what you're right. supposed to be doing. Right, right. And then I went, okay, let's do it. That, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yes. It was yeah. a big jump, yeah. I'm not going to lie, it was no, a big jump. No, 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 no. Um, but I don't regret mm -hmm. anything. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. it's the most amazing thing to do. Yes. Yeah. And did your mother help you with your transition or did she just no. encourage no. you and she, push you she, she's the very much got the psychic side of it. Okay. She have, but she's always knew that I was gonna be the stronger healer. Yeah. And she's always and I'm like, you know, but I can't. 
can't. You know, people are going to think I'm weird. It's like, you know, but, you know, you, yeah. there's no escaping. Again, yeah. that same as going back to, to Mallorca. Yeah. This was no escape, you know, I yeah. had to, I had to start doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's been great. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? But, you know, we talk often about these things come into our lives through intuition or through being told or one thing or another. And you can't ignore it for too long because that message just gets stronger and stronger, doesn't it? It's get brutal. It literally is brutal. Yeah. It will just make your life misery yeah. until you go, okay, I'm yeah. getting the message. <laughs> Leave me alone, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it's complete trust. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's yeah. just let go in complete trouble. We yes. talked about it so much, you know. Yeah. You're the same as me that some, sometimes we go, well, how are we? And then, yes. you know, it all falls back into yeah. place. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And, and time can be an amazing thing because when you look back at certain aspects, you know, whether it's like four years or, or before, you know, even less than that, you think, wow, you know, I learned so much. I know. I've, I've moved, I've come a long way from where I was, from where you were in marketing to be the world-renowned yeah. energy worker that you are. World-renowned? Well, yeah, well, yeah, I'm yeah, not world, yeah. I mean, Europe, but I'm not world-renowned. Yeah, but people, now they are. You've got to share, you got to share this. But no, I mean, you are, I mean, you, you, you're working here, you, in the different, yeah, around New Yorker. Um, you're going to Ireland regularly, you're going back to your home country as well. I'm going to Holland. Holland, Germany yeah. in January. So the world yeah. is getting bigger for I know, you, really. I know, I know, so you are yeah. world renowned. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like it possibly. Yeah. Australia and New Zealand will be next year. So. Fine. Yeah. I'll go, yeah. I'll go. Fantastic. So uh, the energy work, where does the energy come from? Right, I think first of all you have to understand that everything is made of energy. Mm -hmm. We are energetic beings. We are, have literally energy flowing from the top of our heads all the way down to our toes and back up yep. again. And not only that, we've got an energy field around us that is all in science, we call it the bio, biomagnetic field, that go, can go up to two, three meters away from you. Right. And the denser it gets, that's your physical body. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that this energy field gets constantly attacked by cell phones, yes. by computers, yeah. uh, satellites beaming down on us all day long. Mm -hmm. Uh, and especially other people's energies. Right. So if you're around a lot of people all the time and people are very um, full of anxiety or mm -hmm. toxic people or, yeah. you know, sometimes you talk to someone and go, okay, phew, he's draining the energy out of me. Well, literally that's what's yeah. happening. Yeah. And what happens if you don't clear this yourself good enough, it kind of starts sticking onto you. Yes. Yeah, and that's often when people get ill. Another big thing is emotions. When we go through life, mm -hmm. you know, when we are little children, we're happy, we're playing, yes. we're having yes. a great time, and we don't have to worry about nothing because no. everything's being done. Yeah. But then life happens, and life brings trauma and mm -hmm. upset and everything else that it brings. And then what we kind of do, we deal with it, and we go, okay, we dealt with that, it's a way, but really we haven't. No. Because it's still stuck in your subconscious mind, which means it stays in your body. So how, why does this affect so much, these emotions? Because every emotion has got a frequency to it. So what happens if you're an energetic being and there is too much anger or too mm -hmm. much upset, it kind of, the vibrations go through your body and it starts blocking all these energy points in your body. Right. And you've got about over 2,000 energy points in your body. Yeah. So, and of course you've got the main ones that everybody will know about, which are the chakras. Yeah. Um, so if these main ones are kind of getting out of proportion mm -hmm. or they're out of sync or start blocking, people start getting physical problems with yeah. that as well. Right. Right, yeah, yeah, for sure. And you see that, you can see, you know, both of us, I imagine, just for myself, probably for yourself as well, that you see people walking along the street or you're out in a social situation and you can see that their energies are confused or troubled from there and, and, and people are wearing it. I don't know if you've ever crossed the street and somebody passed you or mm -hmm. anything and suddenly you just have yes. goosebumps, yes. like, oh, yes. yes. that? Yes. That is because you're literally going through their field. Right. So if that field is like not good, mm -hmm. 
you kind of you know the energy kind of that you will attract that to you right 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 and how are people manifesting this energy i mean obviously positive energy they're skipping they're having fun laughing but the negative energy how how are your clients and how are people manifesting this inside them how do you mean well you know like illnesses uh, well because for example if you take the the big energy points in your body for example, if somebody has got um, any problems around here, mm-hmm. you know, um, normally it's uh, there are people that have got a problem with expressing themselves, yep. or too much, or too little, holding secrets, anything to do expression-wise. Mm-hmm. Often you will find that people have got thyroid problems, uh, throat problems. Right. The same with if people have a lot of heartache. Yeah, there's a lot of women, mm-hmm. it goes over in cancer, lung yes. problems. So every point has got uh, a really big one is the, the nervous center here, the solar right. plexus, which is your pancreas, yes, which yes, a lot yes. of people in later life get diabetes. And of course, this is where all your stress holds. Right. So a lot of people in later life will get, often, of course, it's diet to do a diet as well, yeah. but a lot of it is emotions. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, I've had people that come to me that have had major back aches or major problems in the body and where the doctors have come up we can't find how or mm-hmm. why mm-hmm. and then because if it is an emotional and it is blocking everything mm. in the in the in the blood supply and everything else you start getting problems right. and that can be healed okay okay great yeah. fantastic um listen we're going to come back to this in a moment We're going to have a quick commercial break and uh, come back with you real soon. Remember to tick, to to like, to share and subscribe and we'll be back with you in a minute. So, did you decide yet? We have a few family names, but I'm not sure yet. Whatever you pick will be perfect. Look, I know getting back into the neighborhood has been difficult, but everything happens for a reason, right? What do you mean? Check your email. It just went on the market. Of course, there's a dishwasher right here. This will be great for when you have all those baby bottles to clean. Knowing how much this house means to you, I put together an offer. Do you want to run through it? Yeah, let's do it. I have those comps right here. Yes, I did. Thank you for sending that. Yeah, so things are starting to really line up. Why don't we touch base in the morning? Okay. I think I'll have an update by then. Thanks, Jules. She said we'll know tomorrow morning.
Hi, welcome back to the Coming Podcast with Bianca Hadley. Hey, thank you very much. Okay, sure. Good to be here. Tell me, how how can you help with energy healing? Right. So, just to give you a little example, just to start, is that energy healing we all can do. We can all heal ourselves and we can all heal others. Right. Okay. We are born with this. So, for example, you got a headache. What do you do with your hands? Yeah. Automatically, okay. Or wherever they you've got belly ache. What yeah. do you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so we are automatically already doing it. Mm-hmm. We are born with this, but we haven't been taught how to do this anymore because right. now we're on straight away to the doctor. The doctor gives us medication, yeah. and then that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So you can do so much with your own state of mind mm-hmm. and with your own energies, and kind of how it works is it works like a magnet. So I work with my biomagnetic field on your biomagnetic field. So if we've got the blockages when I spoke about before, what happens if I put my hand over those blockages, Mm -hmm. I can play with that until the blockage shoot open. And I don't know if you've ever seen videos where people literally like yes, yes, yes. start moving. Yeah. And this is because we're opening those blockages. Right. And this is what happens when it jumps open, you get the body yeah, moving. The twitching. The, the yes, twitching. Yes, yes. Not everybody does that because we can have an emotional healing as well. Kind of what we do as healers, we activate the body back into self-healing. Right. We're kind of switching the buttons back on. Right. Okay? right. And the body decides what needs healing first. Mm-hmm. So somebody can come in and go, oh, my knee is really hurting, and that's our healing, and, but the body might go, we need to sort this out first. Yeah. And then within half an hour, they're lying, maybe crying on the table, or sure. laughing, or cry, yeah. you know, anything can happen. And the emotions, yes. yeah, yeah, not one healing is ever the same, because right. the body will always decide when Okay, when, this when, needs that to be done. Yeah, yeah. when that person's ready. Yeah. So in a way, it's yeah. you know the, the old saying and the spiritual, the healing side, working with people is that the, the healer in a way isn't doing the healing; it's opening up the person to heal. We themselves. are not. We should not say we are healers. Mm-hmm. We should say we are channels. Yes, that's kind yeah. of what we have yeah. to have to do. Yeah, and using you, our own energies. Yes, yes, to yeah. allow yeah. the other people to. Heal themselves yeah. at the level that they're ready to heal yeah. themselves. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. and you can help guide people through their different yes. different levels and that from yes. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have to make you know four years ago? Did you have to make many changes in your life as you're carrying yes. on this path? Yes, 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 yeah. Completely, yeah, completely. It's like a complete turnaround. Right. Um, yeah, you f- forget having. A meal eating meat, mm-hmm. forget it. No meat, yeah. absolutely no meat. Yeah. Um, you know, have a bottle of wine the night before you are going to do healing the next day, yeah. forget it. Yeah. You know, because you need to keep yourself as clean as possible. Yeah. This is really important. So, mm. a lot of sacrifice has to be made. Yeah, and this is why it's really important when you do look for a healer, Mm -hmm. you kind of find out a little bit about the person, how they've been trained, what their lifestyles are, what's going on. And don't get me wrong, I will have a glass of wine, you know, when I can. I'm not saying no to that, but if I'm doing healings, then I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, 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 definitely. So people, they they're finding people that they want to work with, if there's an uncomfortable feeling, then maybe look for somebody else. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Not every person connects with mm. the other because it's very personal healing. Yeah. Healings are very personal, so you don't always connect with, with that person. Right. So make sure you feel good with that person. Yeah. And with this connection with what's happening in the world at the moment, there's a lot of turmoil going on. How how is this, this affecting everybody on an energetic level? Well. If you remember, I was just telling you about emotions Mm -hmm. and how it can affect the body. So, when people get up in the morning and they they switch the television on, and the first thing they switch on the news, and they listen to all the misery what's happening in the world, people already start being sad, they're already scared, get angry. 
these are all really heavy emotions mm -hmm. and on frequencies. Mm -hmm. So I would advise to switch your television off. Yeah. yeah, don't watch the news. And then people say, yeah, but that's ignorant. You need to know what's going on. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. And normally, if there's something that is really big and important, you will hear it. Sure. People will talk about it and then sure. go in and find your own ways and find out whatever. Um, but to switch our television on in the morning mm -hmm. and already get yourself completely set up the wrong way. Yes. The wrong. Plus, we cannot do anything about what's happening on the other side of the world. This is what we have to realize as well. You know, what we can make a change in is what's happening around us, yes. immediately around us. So look around up to the people that need you here yes. and all the bad situations that are happening here. Help those people because when you help those people, yeah, I call it like a flower effect, you right. know, the petals right. will just move yes. yeah. because yeah. The, when that person is helped, they will help others again and then it will move, sure. then it's a movement. But to sit in your living room crying and getting angry of what's yes. happening on the other side of the world, yeah. we cannot do anything about it. Yeah, no, 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 no. So, I mean, that's a great, great idea, great tip. Is there any other tips or ideas that we can share with people to help them increase their self-worth and their energies? I think it's really important to change your mind and that doesn't come really quickly. It's like little changes you have to make mm -hmm. but especially worrying. You know the amount of people I get that are full of anxiety yeah. and stress and, and then I go okay but what are you worrying about? Yeah but, but what if this sure. and what if that? Well the what ifs is your imagination running away with itself? Yeah. Yeah. It's you making up the what ifs. They haven't happened. Yeah. So really, if you are lying in bed and you're having a sleepless night, just go, okay, can I do anything about the situation right now at this moment of time? No. No. You can no. walk out tomorrow, get hit by a bus, and then you wasted your last day of your life worrying about the what ifs that you made up. Sure. You know, and we always find solutions to our problems and everything always does come good again. So just trust, mm. trust, mm. because you are protected. You yeah. are you are being guided and yeah. just listen yeah. to that. Yeah, no, no, for yeah. sure, for sure. Uh, and I mean, it's not just, I mean, you've got the TV, but there are a lot of other areas as well, isn't it? You've got the phone, you've got all the computers, everything else. Yeah. And this, a lot of it has been pushed on us on purpose. You know, they've been, been reprogrammed, we've been programmed from a very early age. Age, very early age. Yeah, yeah. The education system is back to the 1920s, it hasn't evolved since then. It's all about control. And as you said, it's, it's about um, taking, taking our abilities and the control of ourselves and then that small group around us, because that small group will start to expand, right? That, that's the only way to make an impact. Yeah, yeah, you start know, with yourself. You, everybody's entitled to their own opinions and their own reasons, and everybody should be left mm -hmm. free to that. I, I totally believe in that. Um, but you still can like talk about certain subjects with people mm. without it to get angry and division because I think that's being created at the moment yeah. a lot is divisions yes. you know they they literally they're putting everybody against everyone all yeah. the time and this is another thing anger mm -hmm. jealousy mm -hmm. all that again bad emotions stop yeah. it yeah. stop yeah. it just enjoy enjoy yeah. live for the now be in the now yeah. And, and be good to others, yeah. really. Yeah, because that really. negativity is feeding off other negativity all the time. Mm. You know, we don't have to spend too long on the negative side. That's not you know, what we're here for. But that negativity does feed and is controlled. And we're being fed. And most of the stuff that we're, we're, we're seeing or we're hearing, if you are listening to that, we don't know whether it's true or not. Because yeah. there's always two or three sides and we're only getting fed what they want us exactly. to know. Exactly. Yeah. So this exactly. is the important thing about our energies of coming to see yourself, um, to do the energy work or, or take control of themselves. So what um, would you like for you know the people who are watching this, the podcast, what would you like them to take away from this? To be open minded mm -hmm. and to listen to the intuition. When something feels wrong, it is because it's 99% yeah. sure it's wrong. Mm. Your intuition is so strong and people are not listening to that anymore. Right. 
you know, it has to be scientifically, it has to be, you know, how we've been told, what box do, do, do we need to put everything in? Yes. It's not about boxes. No. No. We are free spirits. We are energetic beings. Mm. Yeah, we are good people. We can help each other. We can do so much more. We don't have to be told what to do and how to do it and, mm. and, and what box we deserve to live in. Yeah. We can do that ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly, exactly. And yeah. that, that negativity, as it just feeds off more negativity and just keeps on feeding and that spread. And with the scientific facts um, as well, only 13% 13, 13 of them are true scientific results most of them are paid for results mm -hmm. so the poor students um, a company will come along and say then we need this result here we'll give you so much money pay for student loan and they will get that so the latest studies or research is showing that only 13 percent are real research studies mm -hmm. so you know this is something that's but this is another funny thing about the whole energy work is that people go but scientifically mm -hmm. they say yes. that's not possible yeah really yeah you know so yeah. Who are we as humans? You know, this is the oldest way of healing next to herbal mm -hmm. medication. Yeah. You know, the Japanese and the Chinese were doing energy healing yes. centuries ago. Yes. Yeah. You know, so because something is not, they can't measure what we are doing mm -hmm. because they don't understand it yet yeah. and they can't find a way yet, it's not possible. No. No, no, but it is. Yeah, and that's and it that's, totally is. Yeah, totally very is. much so. And and it's, like it's come through on a number of guests that we've had on here about the intuition. Oh, is it about our okay. feeling? Yes. You know, we were feeling. We were not feeling. We were where things are are feeling different to us. Yeah. And listening to to what's going on and. Um, you know, I have mentioned in some of the blogs and things that I've said there, you know, if, if we make it, if we pray at the right time or the right, right way to, to pray, because there are different ways that have been taught, then we're communicating with spirit, we're communicating with God or with our guardians or our angels. But when they are communicating with us, it's our intuition, it's our bodily feeling. Yes. And the more we open up to this, yeah. isn't it? Because people do things like angels coming down and starting talking to you and mm -hmm. you know, no, you know, you know, like I've got no psychic abilities whatsoever. But my intuition is right. Right. Yes, yes. It's completely right. Yeah. And I trust that above anything. Yes, yeah. And everybody has different other things, haven't they? They've got yes. the same ability to feel yes. Yes. The, 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 the see pictures or the hearing. Everybody's or, got their own yeah, abilities. Yeah. 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 It, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And I've met so many amazing people yes. in this journey now, the last few years yes. that I've been, wow, yeah. blown yeah. My, uh, my mind literally. Yeah. And, yeah. and these people are, are, coming, uh, are coming together more as a community, aren't they? This is the exciting thing. This is, mm. this is the reverse of what some of the other organisations wanted, but we're come on, a, a forming a community. That's but again, closer. this is all vibrations and energy. Sure. You know, so if you, if, if you believe in the walls and you believe in all the negativity and everything else, it raises really heavy vibrations. Right. The lighter you are, and the happier you are, and the least you get affected by this, the more we raise those energies as well. It's needed. Yes. It's needed. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. It's much easier to to raise those vibrations with love and kindness. And it's not always easier because no. it's not like <laughs> we're all like hopping yeah, around yeah, on, yeah. on pink clouds and yes. unicorns and rainbows. No, no it no. is like, you know, I need to have a good chat with myself five times a day at least, you sure. know, go, stop it. Yes, yes. And it's the faster you can stop it, <laughs> yeah. it's, the, it's the better it is, really. You have to go, stop it, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no. <laughs> Tell yourself <laughs> off. No, stop it. Uh, <laughs> Look uh, at something pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it, it feeds. It feeds itself. Yes. Negativity feeds. It's yes. like something just yeah. keeps on eating away. Yeah. But if you can kick it in the butt or the bud or whatever the old saying is, <laughs> okay. and then stop it <laughs> straight <laughs> away, yeah. then it's going to be much easier. If there's one thing that you'd like people to take away from our, our, our chat and from this podcast, what would you like them to, to take away? that listen to your mm -hmm. intuition mm -hmm. put your mind open to different ways of healing don't always grab medication mm -hmm. not taking medication in the medical world away at all but 
there's often so many different ways that you yes. can heal yourself. And that doesn't have to be with energy work. That can be your diet. It can be, you know, there's so many different ways. So, yeah. 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 Open your mind. Open your mind. Open it. There's a lot of information out there. It's yeah. Not, and talking about intuition. And it, it's not necessarily going onto Google or anywhere else because those are limited yeah, sources. As well. yeah. But if you're walking down the street and you're talking to a friend and they talk about something, then maybe, oh, okay, let's have a look at that. Yeah. And these, these come through all the time. So, yeah, fantastic. So good. Thank you. Thank you for coming Thank on to this you. podcast. I'm yeah. really, really happy um, to have you here. Uh, how do people contact you? Uh, they can call me. Yes. Yeah. Um, 602-558-108. Yes. But I think that you're putting that in anyway. Yes, way, yes. You? Or on Bianca Hadley at hotmail.com. Fantastic. So we're going to add that down below um, in the, in the uh, YouTube description as well. We can get hold of Bianca and to, uh, and to find out some more information. So again, hey, thank you very much. It's been pleasure. great having thank you. Thank you for inviting here. me and dragging you're, me you're home a You're a natural. You're a natural. Comfort zone. <laughs> Uh, there. Remember, like, share, subscribe, do what you got to do, contact us, uh, let us know your, your thoughts and feelings, comment from there. Thank you, Leonardo Hotel, and everyone else who's making this possible. Cam, who's over there, who didn't like me to say that, but I'm going to. Thank right. you, Jamie. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Maybe Thank nobody's done that yet. No, no, <laughs> Hey, we're off, we're off. And look forward to you guys joining us on the Becoming Podcast real soon.